Hello, it's me, Norm, again, from MyBeerQuest.com. I know it's been a long time, an awful long time, actually, and I know you probably thought I'd never be back, but I never went anywhere. I just stopped doing videos for a while. Maybe I'll do some more. I don't know. I stopped doing beer videos, anyway. I still do videos. You can still find me online, if you care to. Well, today I was at the handy market right down the street here and I found a beer and I just decided I had to talk about it. It's by Sierra Nevada, one of my favorite breweries as you may know. I've never seen this one before. It's called Hop Hunter which I thought it'd be great to do an expedition about this because of the name. I believe it's 6.2 alcohol by volume and unfortunately, the lighting in here sucks. I should think it'd be a little better for a video, right? <laughs> I believe it's around 6.2. If I'm wrong, well, you, I'm sure you'll tell me about it. But it just hop hunter. And I'm so happy all these IPAs are coming around because... IPAs were really hard to find for a while when I, well, when I first started doing these uh, back in, what was that, 2007, 2008, however long ago that was. Not really common of a beer back then, but now you find them all over the place. Like before they were wild game and now they're being farmed or something. <clears throat> but this one sounds like wild game to me, so... Perfect one for expeditions such as now. Hop Hunter. Look at that. Not too dark. This is a 12 ounce beer. Uh, and a, uh, it's probably over a pint glass. I got this glass from a good friend of mine. It says homebrew on it. It's homebrew uh, advertising agency, by the way. So. Oh, gosh. Really get that. It's kind of a wild hop. It's like a citrusy, but more... A little bit more pungent than that. Really wonderful. Wow. Well, it, it's kind of a little bit strong if you're not used to IPAs. But if you like IPAs, this this is a it's a nice tasting IPA. I don't, I don't know how many IPAs. Sierra Nevada has, but they've always been a hop forward beer. Like it seems like all their beers are hop forward and very nice hops and all their beers. So any if you're if you're a fan of hops, you know, any Sierra Nevada will probably do it for you. But this one's a more aggressive. Not as smooth as if you know I don't know, I feel it's smooth, but I'm used to IPAs. If you're not used to IPAs, you might feel it. It's it's not as smooth a hop. Really refreshing, really nice. So, if you like IPAs, I think you should try this one. Or if if you're just now getting into beer and you want to try to appreciate the hops more, anything by Sierra Nevada tell you the truth. It's a nice Northern California brewery. They, they have really nice hops. Anything from that area. Well, they're kind of in the central valley of Northern California, but anything along the Mendocino coast, um, you know, Bear Republic. Uh, there's a lot more up there I can't think of. Any, anything by Stone or Ballast Point. Sculpton or port, port growing. 
I really got to try some more from outside of California because I've heard that they are really getting coming along now. And the reason why I haven't done the videos is because I haven't been exploring enough. I've been content with my California beers. And also, I've been doing this other blog called Bitcoins and Beer. If you care to watch, if you know anything about Bitcoins and you want to tip me, you can always feel free to uh, change tip. If you would like, buy me a beer. I appreciate it. But until next time, and hopefully I will do these more frequent now, and there will be a next time sooner than later. Cheers. Enjoy your beer.